ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome back to western racing in today's video we're going to be taking a look at series two of the world's smallest hot wheels monster truck all righty everybody i guess while i could set up for the video i can talk about something i haven't been doing that a lot recently but uh, there's good reason for it I've been trying to cut down on the amount of time I spend in my videos, trying to take the uh, the length and the duration of the video and really try to chop it in half. And I think I've been succeeding recently, but I don't know. I feel like I'm really cutting content out of the video. It may just be me thinking the worst. Who knows? Anyways, today we're taking a look at these uh, the world's smallest Hot Wheels monster trucks. This is series two, like I said. Um, these are pretty interesting here. We're going to take a look at three brand new ones never before made. And they actually made a slight change to these. They come with trading cards now. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So like I said, I've been making a bunch of changes here and there on the YouTube channel and whatnot. And one of them is I'm chopping down the duration of my video. I'm trying to duration of my videos. I'm trying to get them to go quicker. Another thing that I'm also trying to do on the channel, as you notice, the lighting has changed. Look at that. There's like an actual shadow now. I don't use my room lighting anymore. I use an actual light. The other thing I started doing is my camera is now at the center of my box rather than over here, which is where the center was in my old videos. It's over here now. I moved it. Um, and then one of the other major changes that I made, which I think a lot of you picked up on in the last video, was that uh, I'm trying to avoid rambling. Uh, one of the things that I used to do all the time in my videos is I'd get off on some like random topic and I'd just ramble on and on and on forever. Like for example, in one of my YouTube videos, I talked about how the, how, uh, the shark monster trucks, which is ironic because that's the first truck that we're looking at today. The idea of shark monster trucks is so overused. And I spent like a good solid 10 minutes talking about that. Whereas I should have only spent like maybe one, two at most talking about it. I spent like 10. So I'm trying to avoid doing that as well. And then there's like other things here and there. Like I'm, uh, for example, today, the day I'm recording this video, this is video number two of four that I'm recording today. I'm recording four videos today so I can get ahead of the schedule and then I can have a few weekends to relax because next weekend, I will be leaving town to do a bunch of stuff up in a neighboring city and uh, I will not have time to record videos. So I'm making up for that right now. So yeah, like I said, this is video number two of four that I'm recording today. You guys, literally the fourth video that I will, the fourth video that I'm gonna record today won't come out until next Wednesday. So that really helps put it into perspective how I'm doing this. But anyway, yeah, let's get into the monster trucks here. So the first one we're gonna be looking at today, Series 2 has three brand new Hot Wheels monster trucks in it. And they're all pretty cool, one of which is my favorite Hot Wheels monster truck of all time, actually. But the first one we're gonna look at today is Tiger Shark. Now, as I said, when I started the video here, I am not a fan of the shark monster truck idea. It's way overused. I feel like the original shark, that I feel like the only shark that really works, there's a few of them that work. Um, I do think, uh, Shark Bite by, uh, God, uh, Team 2 Extreme Motorsports. That one's pretty cool. I really do like that one. Tiger Shark is also pretty cool. I really wish they would have done, like, put more detail into the real life truck because it really doesn't look like a shark. It looks like a car that they stuck, like, shark fins on and whatnot. Doesn't look right. And then, like, my, or Shark Reek, uh, which is another Hot Wheels one. It has flames on it. That one, I think, is really cool. And then, way back in the era of uh, Hot Wheels Monster Jam, they did uh they did uh shark shock and cyborg shark one was a robot the other one was an army man or was a shark painted to look like an army man and i loved both of those i thought those were such unique and cool designs but nowadays the real life sharks all look exactly the same and they suck they suck they're so boring but yeah so the reason why i'm rambling again here is because i'm having such a hard time getting the packaging open one thing about the world's smallest brand is their packages are not only incredibly wasteful with the amount of plastic that's in them, but they are so hard to open, it is ridiculous. Here's the monster truck for scale. <laughs> um, in the world of photography, this is known as a downward angle shot. It makes the subject of the 
picture look incredibly tiny, which is what I'm going for here. Oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't even show this off in the last video. Uh, the world's smallest stuff comes with a poster or an accordion more like, with a printed accordion more like. And if you look, you can see all of the world's smallest Hot Wheels stuff that they have, which is pretty cool. Pretty neat, not gonna lie. I just bought recently at a garage sale, I found a, this has nothing to do with world's smallest, but the little picture there reminded me of it. Recently at a garage sale, I found an, a, a Hot Wheels track pack from like the 90s. That was a super cool find. Or it wasn't even really the 90s, it was more like the 80s, which is really shows you how good of a find that was. And there, it really wasn't all there. There were some parts from the original track pack. The car wasn't in there. And a lot of what was in there was a newer track pack. So it was kind of like a, a mystery box, if you know what I mean. But still pretty cool. All right, let's get the plastic out of here. And then here is what I was talking about here with this little... Uh, like insert here, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Tiger Shark, and then you can see Tiger Shark on the other side. It's it's pretty cool, I guess. You know, if you could use it for like a display, like if you had the like if you're doing like a monster truck thing, you could have like the display there with like the the, the stop motion. You you know what I'm you, okay. All right, let's look at Tiger Shark. So this is what's rough here is trying to show these things off because they are just so ridiculously small. But anyway, we have a yellow or this is more like an orange. We got an orange body black chassis and roll cage setup with black tires and orange rims looks yellow on your guys's end but yeah so really it is just tiger shark you got the stripes you got the white underbelly there which looks really good the hood says tiger shark on it and you got the eye as well is on there the fin the back fin and everything so yeah that that's tiger shark they're really oh i should guess i should point out you got the black gums and the white teeth as well it's literally a shark that looks like a tiger. Not a lot of detail to talk about, but it, they do capture it really well on this tiny scale. And one of my favorite things to do is to really show off how small these monster trucks are. It is incredible to me. And they function like the actual Hot Wheels monster trucks do with the dynamic like axles and everything so you can steer them around and whatnot. It's incredible to me that they could do that on such a tiny scale. World's smallest brand. The brand world's smallest. I gotta admit, I really hate their packaging. Their prices seem a bit off, but their product never disappoints. It is always awesome. And I, I do gotta say that about world's smallest. These world's smallest monster trucks, I, I love them. Love everything about them, they are great. So anyway, that is Tiger Shark. Let's get onto the turntable. Now, I mentioned when we were talking about Tiger Shark there that it was a real life truck. Well, ironically, apparently, oh, pfft, that came out wrong. Apparently this truck is gonna become a real life truck here soon. This is Five Alarm, which is a fire truck. And as I said just now, I'm pretty sure I, re I read somewhere that Five Alarm is actually going to be the next real life Hot Wheels monster truck, which if that's the case, that's awesome. And I'm really excited for that. Then again, I also heard that Rhino Might and Motosaurus were also going to become real life trucks. And those I think are a little bit less believable because and I'm not sure how they'd make those into real life trucks. They're very difficult designs that they'd have to capture. But I'm sure there is some like fiberglass maniac out there who could pull it off. Like for example, have you seen the people who work at Monster Jam? Those guys that make those fiberglass bodies are insane. And I'm sure it's a machine that does it, and I look like a moron for saying that it's a human that does it, but it's it's still it's still crazy. It's still crazy. No matter how you spin it, it's crazy. All right, let's get the monster truck out of here. Now, the big question here, and I'll, uh, which, oop, it's a no. The answer is no. I'll explain what the big question was. <laughs> when, we, when we get there, I'll explain what the big question I had was, but... Let's get the poster out of there, or not the poster, this is a, like a collection list. And you all know how much I love those, winkity, winkity, wink. Um, yeah, okay, <laughs> I'm done yammering. Okay, so that's folded weird. Tiger Shark out of the way here. All right, and plastic on the floor. All right, 
So this is five alarm, the fire truck. Let's take a look at this little insert here. You can see the five alarm art render there. It looks really cool. I really do like five alarm. It's definitely in my top five for favorite Hot Wheels monster trucks castings. I feel like the monster truck casting is better than the Hot Wheels casting. And I know that's a fiery claim to make, no pun intended, but I think, I do believe that the monster truck five alarm, I think, Five Alarm works better as a monster truck than it does as an actual Hot Wheels car, which I know, like I said, is a fiery take because it was a Hot Wheels car first. In fact, a lot of monster trucks were Hot Wheels cars first. Bone Shaker, Roger Dodger, uh, Piranha, Motosaurus, just all of those that I just named off. Steer Clear, all of those monster trucks were all Monster Dairy Delivery. I keep thinking of them. Those were all Hot Wheels cars before they became monster trucks. So... Five Alarm, again, is one of them. And I, that list goes on and on and on. I could just keep going forever and forever uh, about trucks that are Hot Wheels cars that have been made into monster trucks. It's just, it's just how it is. There's a lot of them. But anyway, here is Five Alarm. Now, the, remember how I said that it didn't work? This ladder is on the 164 scale and all the other scales. This ladder is supposed to move. And it doesn't on this one, which sucks because I always love the little moving parts on the monster truck. Red body, we got a gray roll cage and chassis here. Uh, black tires with cr cr bleh, chrome rims. I kept I kept trying to say chrome and silver at the same time. And if you look, we can see Hot Wheels fire. We got flames. The back end's got the uh, fire truck striping, the hazard striping. That's that. And then at the front, we got flames, which I don't think are there on the real uh, truck that this is based off of. And then, of course, we've got the humongous engine there as well. And the top here to show the ladder, you can see the nozzle on the ladder there and the water tank. So yeah, that is five alarm. Again, these trucks are, oops, these trucks are small, so they really don't have a lot of detail to cover. So I'm not going to waste a crap ton of time talking about detail. But uh, yeah, so that is five alarm and you can see there again how small they are. Let's get to the turntable. Now, like I said, we're talking like top, my top five favorite Hot Wheels monster trucks. This one I would argue is in the top three and might be my number one favorite Hot Wheels monster truck. This is V8 Bomber. And you're gonna see why I like this truck so much. This monster truck is a classic pickup truck style tooling or uh, body. The body is like a classic pickup truck. And the truck itself, is painted to look like a Sky Tiger airplane. And you'll see like a, like a bomber, a bomber airplane is what, it, is what it's meant to look like. I think they call them bomber aces. I don't, okay. I know a lot about cars and whatnot. Pretty, pretty unified knowledge about cars. I know a lot about those little vehiculars. I don't know squat about airplanes or boats or anything like that. It, it, my knowledge stops at cars and like monster, monster trucks, I guess is as extreme as my car knowledge gets. But once you get to like airplanes and boats and motorcycles, I don't know nothing. I am completely lacking in that department. I don't know squat. And uh, apparently, like I said, the packaging is utterly ridiculous with these things. I can't for the life of me figure out how to open this. Ooh, I thought it went on the floor. I saved it. <laughs> All right, here's the truck. Let's get that little piece of paper. Come on, come on. Don't be shy, come on out. <laughs> I also think I mentioned, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but uh, there is there is a series three of the World's Smallest Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. I can't find them anywhere though, but there is indeed a series three that is that I will get. I'm pretty sure it has Rhino Might in it and I can't remember the other two that are in there, but Rhino Might is one of them. There's V8 Bomber. I think one of them might be Hissy Fit also, which is also a really cool casting or really cool truck. And then I don't know what the third one is. And then I don't know if they if they're gonna do any more other than series three. I haven't seen a series four, heard or, heard or seen a series four yet. So series three might be how many uh, world smallest hot wheels monster trucks we get. Then again, like I said, 
Series three of the world's smallest Atlas monster trucks. I haven't even found that yet. So that video, I don't know when I'm going to do that video. But here is off center, the V8 bomber. We have got a olive green body with a charcoal gray roll cage and chassis. Black tires with black rims and yellow bead locks. Looks super good. I love the way this thing looks. I do have one complaint though, and I, I know that's probably impossible to do it, but they didn't put, normally right here on the back fender, right to the left of V8 Bomber, normally what they would have is they'd have like little gray, uh, blacked out monster trucks with X's on them, which is something that they would do on the real life airplanes. Every time an airplane got a kill or killed another or destroyed another airplane in battle, when the plane would land, they'd take paint to the airplane and draw an airplane with an X through it to show that they took down an airplane. And they did the same thing on the Hot Wheels Monster Truck. However, this does not feature that. And that, it's all right. I don't really care too much. V8 Bomber is written on the side in yellow right there. We got the Sky Tiger paint job with the eye and the teeth. Notice how it has bolts. And those are 3D bolts running down the whole body here, which is interesting because that is something that the real life truck features not something that the Hot Wheels monster truck features, but this truck also features it, which is really strange. I think that's cool. And then at the front, the grill has the teeth on it, which looks really cool. I always love that detail. There's that. The front features V8 bomber there with the wings, the wing metal right there, which looks really cool. And then the top has a hatch with vents, which almost makes this look like a tank and not a... Uh, Makes this look like a tank and not an airplane, which is really strange why they put that there. Then the back end says V8 Bomber with a star as well. I think the tailgate on the real life truck looks like that. The 164 scale die cast V8 Bomber does not have anything on the tailgate. At least the, the silver one does. I don't know if the green one does. But yeah, there you go. That's V8 Bomber. Let's look at the turntable. Alrighty, everybody, that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this one. This one was pretty fun. Here's all three of the trucks put together so that way you guys can see them all as one series here. Tiger Shark, Five Alarm, and V8 Bomber. I hope you all enjoyed. I know I did. This was really, really fun. And uh, with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Diecast unboxing video, which is Spin Master Monster Jam. Peace out.